Hello, welcome. I'm Mercia and I'm so excited that you could join me. I'm excited because I had just published a book and the book is called A Journey with the King. It's my journey, it's my life journey of ups and downs, highs and lows, but ultimately the abounding grace of God and the mercy that He bestowed upon me. And so I'm doing a 75-day devotional and we are on day 5 and I also will be sharing a bit about chapter 5 which is called Goody Two Shoes. I'll tell you all about that in a moment. But you can please pre-order this book. You can reach me on 076-600-6101 or email Rejoice with Mercia at gmail.com. I believe that this book will be a really great resource for you. I believe that God has breathed on every word and every chapter of this book. I believe God wants you healed, delivered, set free, restored, transformed. I believe that He wants you to experience His peace and joy and ultimately freedom. All of us need freedom and God wants us free. And I've experienced much freedom with my journey with the King. And so please pre-order this book. Unfortunately, the book will only be available in Johannesburg and uh, Cape Town for a while, but I am working on getting it around the world. So you get excited, you pray that you'd also be able to get a copy of this book in your hand and um, know that God is doing a work in our hearts and in our lives. So let's look at day five and chapter five called Goody Two Shoes. In chapter five, I introduce you to my wonderful husband of 39 years. And now I called my husband Goody Two Shoes and I hated the fact that he was always right. Although he has amazing qualities, there were things that frustrated me about him. And I know that he gets very frustrated with me as well. I better put that out there. I complain to the Lord about him often, but God only reminded me to change and leave Mark to him. God does an amazing job of convicting and pursuing the people we love. We, on the other hand, love to pinpoint faults and weaknesses while God sees in us what he created us to be. Read my book, A Journey with the King, and hear how God helped me bless my husband rather than tear him down. And he really was good in two shoes. He's an amazing husband and just an awesome father. He's also a grandfather and he loves his grandchildren. He's been a, an example to us. He's trustworthy. Um, he's anointed. Um, he's a man of great integrity. But as I said, he also had his faults and his weaknesses. And God helped me to look at the great man he is rather than pinpoint all his faults and his weaknesses. And, um, you know, I also share about how I prayed for him. I came to know the Lord as Savior before him. And I made a vow to the Lord. I said, Lord, if Mark comes to know you as Savior, I'm going to honor you. And I'm going to do all that you've called me to do. And we are going to do this thing together. And I share how God answered my prayer. It took a long time. It took lots of prayers on my knees. Um, it took lots of doubt. I doubted often. <laughs> but ultimately, God heard the, the cry of my heart. And ultimately, it was God's will anyway for my husband Mark to come to know the Lord as personal Savior. 
and today he's a huge blessing in my life. I can't imagine life without him. Um, but both of us know that God gets first place in each other's lives. And my prayer was always, Mark, Lord, I pray that Mark will love you more than he loves me. Because when he does that, I know that he will look well after me. And uh, I've experienced that in my life. And I know God wants you to experience a really great marriage because God loves you. And so hear what the Lord took me through. Hear what has happened, what has transpired in our lives. And just experience breakthrough in your marriage, in your home. Because God loves you. I trust this book encourages you. Get a copy. <laughs> Love you guys. Be blessed.